The super blood blue moon is this celestial trifecta, three events happening uh, all essentially at the same time. The lunar eclipse that will be occurring in the morning of January 31st uh, will be the beautiful conjunction of the Earth, Moon, and Sun when the Moon passes into the Earth's shadow and turning that beautiful red color. What people will see, starting on the night of the 30th, is this beautiful supermoon in the sky. So the moon will appear very large in the sky, uh, relative to maybe the smallest full moon. It's going to be about 14% larger. That translates to about 30% brighter than a typical full moon. So that's something that's very noticeable. And I know that people are often taking pictures of the moon as it rises because you get that beautiful optical illusion of the larger full moon on the, on the horizon. For the moon, it's not only going to be changing color, but it's also going to be changing temperature. It's going from the, the, sort of the oven of being in direct sunlight into the Earth's shadow, which is like going into the freezer. And so that dramatic temperature change can be measured by instruments either on the Earth or in orbiting spacecraft. And so that temperature change tells us something about the particle size of the surface of, of the moon. Because there's no atmosphere, it cools very quickly. And so that temperature change is pretty dramatic and, again, reflects what's on the surface. We have a lot left to understand about the moon. You know, in as much as we visited multiple locations on the lunar surface with humans and robotic landers, we're still learning new things about those places that we even went to. With the new data that we have, we can reinterpret the geology and the, the, the context from which those samples were collected and actually come up with new findings. So, so we're learning new things about places we've even been. Never imagining that also the places that we haven't been yet are undergoing you know, a revolution in thinking. Mm -hmm.